What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Cassandra if you're new and we are stepping out of the kitchen today not talking about food or budgeting really at all and we're I'm showing you guys what's in my hospital bag if you're new or maybe you don't know because I don't talk about it very much. I have three children. This currently pregnant with my fourth baby. So by this point, I'm pretty much an expert on what I need and what I don't. I am also a very minimal packer. So if you feel the need, like you're looking at my stuff and you go, oh my God, she has nothing in there. Uh, that's just the way I like to pack. Very light. This is the one bag, the one and only bag I'll be carrying into the hospital. Well, not me, my husband, but <laughs> It has all my stuff in there, all baby stuff in there, and all of my husband's stuff will also go in here. But to be honest, my husband hasn't put anything in here yet. All he's really going to want is, you know, an extra set of an outfit. And he'll be perfectly content with that because he'll be going back and forth between the hospital and home to help with kids and all of those things. So let's hop into what I'm packing in my hospital bag for my fourth labor and delivery. <laughs> At the filming of this, I'm 36 weeks in some odd days, almost 37. My midwife told me to go ahead and go home and pack a bag at my last appointment because my body is giving a lot of signs that it's ready. Baby is giving signs that it's ready. I'm going to refer to baby as baby because I don't know baby's gender. So a lot of things happening. She said, go home, get your bag packed. Just be ready. This is by far the earliest I've ever packed a bag. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and hop in. And I'm just going to start with baby's stuff. Because I don't know what baby is, I have more things in here than I normally would, but we're just gonna go down the line and talk about it. I do have a thing of Nook pacifiers in here. Um, it was so hard to find gender neutral ones. So these are just like white and beige Nooks. These are the brand that all of my kids that have taken passies took. Uh, my last baby, my son, didn't take passies at all. He absolutely hated them. My other two used passies until um, I basically took them away when they were like one and a half. But these are zero to two months. I definitely recommend getting the zero to two months or the newborn ones. They're super small. Baby can hold it in their mouth. They're a lot lighter. They're a lot smaller than a typical nook. And in my, my experience, my kids that liked these spit them out a lot less because they could actually hold them in their mouth so i recommend these so i bought them just in case and if my baby doesn't use them or doesn't like them my sister-in-law is pregnant and i'll just pass these off to her later i put a big sleep sack in here this is what we put our babies in to sleep are just these really big zippable sleep sacks me and my husband both really love these because they're so easy for middle of the night changes makes things so simple so this is what our babies sleep in basically until they start crawling um so we have a ton of these in all different boy girl gender neutral stuff so i just grabbed one of these gender neutral ones that we already had um and that's that i only bought two outfits for this baby one of them is in here i'll show you that here i'll just show you that next so this is what i got for baby as like a going home outfit because my due date isn't until December 6th and I wasn't anticipating going into labor in November let alone in the middle of November so I got a Christmas pajama set but it's from the Honest Company I got it off Amazon I'll link it down below it does have the little uh, mitts on the ends if you care about that I don't really but I only buy zip up pajamas and my kids where my babies live in sleepers. That's pretty much the only thing they wear because all of my babies have been born in the winter. I like them because they have the feet on them. I don't have to worry about socks. It makes it way easier for diaper changes would happen like a hundred times a day when you have um, newborns or small babies. So my babies typically don't even wear onesies and pants and like outfit outfits um, in the beginning because yeah, I just, it's a lot easier to just put them in a sleeper so my kids will wear sleepers during the day they sleep in the sleep sacks so this is what i got for a going home outfit for the baby i thought it was gender neutral enough um, my husband thinks it's way more boyish than girlish but i was like put a bow on her head and call her a girl so <laughs> that's what um, i got that for but for when like the kids come to the hospital to see the baby and stuff because they obviously don't know what baby is either. I did throw this in there. We already had this, um, but it just says best little sister on it. It's 
a newborn size so that's what I grabbed it's very pink and very easy for the girl or for the kids to tell if baby is a girl so I grabbed that one and then I grabbed this newborn one for if it's a little boy once again we already had this but it's just my favorite sleeper from <laughs> Colt that I had in a newborn size so I threw that in there and uh that's pretty much everything I have that is actually specifically for the baby. The hospital provides literally everything else I will ever need. So I'm not throwing anything else in there for the baby. That's literally it. Um, the only other like baby product I have in here is this muslin swaddle. I don't use these to swaddle my babies. Um, I actually just use this as a nursing cover. Um, I don't cover all of the time but I do cover in front of certain people like I will cover up in front of my father-in-law I will cover up in front of my dad um, or my brother just because it makes me feel more comfortable and I think it makes them feel more comfortable all I do is take uh, two ends of my muslin blanket and tie a little knot on the end here and then slip it over my head and I use this to cover while um, I feed baby so that's what this is I don't care it has blue hearts and pink hearts on it and gray hearts I don't think it matters I've used this for literally all four of my babies I have not gotten rid of any of my baby clothes or baby gear or anything so this is what I'm bringing to cover for myself everything else in here is for me we're going to talk about a couple of tips that I've learned along the way for myself um, just to help me feel better after labor so I do have two nursing tank tops one to wear in the hospital one to wear home uh, obviously I have a couple different styles and sets of nursing bras and things like that I'm not gonna show them to you but I have three days worth I don't know how long they're gonna make me stay but three days worth of all the stuff you're gonna need right like underwear and nursing bras and stuff just in case like I leak through that I need um, extra but that's what I do have in there I have learned that having some new things for me to wear after the baby and to wear home from the hospital just makes me feel a little bit better it makes me feel excited to put on something new that I haven't worn before it makes me just feel a little bit more human <laughs> Um, so I, for every single one of my babies, have gone out and bought a new pair of sweatpants. And I'm not talking expensive sweatpants or an expensive sweatsuit or something like that. I'm talking like I'm going to Walmart and buying a $14 pair of pants and a $14 matching sweatshirt to wear home from the hospital. And to wear postpartum just to help me feel better. And it just makes, it just always makes me feel better to wear something new. I don't know why. But I did pick up a package of really fuzzy socks i got these at tj maxx they came in a pack of four but um i already opened them and was starting to wear um two pairs out of them because i was having like some really rough pregnancy days so i just pulled out some really soft warm socks to make me feel better but i saved these two for my bag i have not worn these yet i have just like a plain gray gray one and the ones with little patterns on them to wear in the hospital to wear home just really nice fuzzy warm socks right lovely i also went and got my new sweatsuit i got these at walmart if i can find a link for them i'll link them down below but this is just a regular hoodie it's black a little bit of a pattern on it if i wanted to i got a medium and a top um just to make sure that everything fits because that can always be an issue so um, I remember getting a small after I had Colt and was having issues like zipping it all the way up. Um, so I went up and I got a medium this time in my top just in case. I'd rather have it be too big. And then I did go ahead and get the matching sweatpants. I like these because they're cuffed at the bottom. Um, they do have pockets. Super loose, very comfy. I got a small in um, my pants because the mediums looked really, really big even for me right now so that is what i plan on wearing home from the hospital my new sweatsuit with um, one of my nursing tank tops underneath a pair of my really nice fuzzy socks so this is my going home outfit um it just helps me a lot to have something new 
and I'm excited to put it on. So moving on to some more practical things for while I'm in the hospital. I received this as a gift after my very first baby and I have brought it with me to the hospital for every single baby. I will link down below the what's my hospital bag video I did with Colt. Um, but I brought I bring this with me. It's just a sleep dress and it's long sleeved. It's fuzzy and it's warm. It's made of like cotton and felt. I don't know. Okay, never mind. It's polyester, but it's super soft. It's very comfy and I love this because it gives you the convenience of being open on the bottom like a hospital gown because after you have the baby you're sitting on all these different things whether it be like ice packs or healing packs witch hazel pads uh there's just a lot of things going on down there and it's really convenient because you can get out of the hospital gown you can wear something that feels a little bit more normal that's like actual clothing but you still have it open on the bottom where you can just sit on your pad and let your body like release all the things that it needs to release get everything that it needs to get out so i love this i bring it with me every time and i do not i could not recommend getting just a regular sleep shirt or something uh to bring with you to the hospital to sleep in to do what you need to do in it does have the buttons on the top so I do have to unbutton them to like pull it down to nurse um, but that doesn't bother me that much because it's so convenient to have everything open on the bottom and the second I'm done <laughs> laboring usually I just want to take a quick cat nap and get the heck out of that hospital gown and take a shower that's all I want to do so the second that baby's out I want to be out of my hospital gown I hate being in it. it makes it feel so yucky to me I don't know I just don't like it so this is really really nice i have two just regular t-shirts in here to wear while i'm in the hospital just to hang out in my hospital room and basically harass the nurses and ask them a million times when i can go home so i have two shirts like i said just in case i leak through something or baby spits up on me or something i don't know and then i have a really old pair of sweatpants these are super old they're super worn out but once again they're cupped to the bottom i like that they have the pockets that are actually so worn out because these were like my favorite weekend hang around the house pants that they're like starting to uh, fade and thin on the butt because I sit in them so much. But they are my favorite pair and I can't get rid of them until they literally fall apart. So I'm bringing these to hang out in the hospital room in paired with one of uh, the t-shirts that I brought with me. So that is literally everything in here. Uh, clothing wise for myself and for baby and then I do recommend putting in some sort of snacky snack. I talked about this in the past but how my labors typically start is I have no warning. I usually don't cramp. I don't have any back pain. I don't have any contractions. Uh, all of a sudden my water will just break and I mean break. It's not like a slow trickle which apparently is very common for most people where it's like is that my water breaking is that not my water breaking what's going on I mean it's like full-on what happens in the movies just this huge gush and it's kind of like okay here we go we've got to go and then after that my labors move very 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 quickly my water has always broken at night <laughs> so I always go in very hungry and it is so hard to focus on laboring especially if you're um, going natural which is my plan when you have not eaten and once you get to the hospital the hospital will not let you eat just in case you need to have a c-section so having some cliff bars in here to eat on the way to the hospital is ideal so i put two in here I chose Cliff Bars because they are so calorie dense. I can just eat this and know that it's gonna give me a lot of sugars. It's gonna give me my protein. It's gonna give me my carbs. It give me my carbs, but lots of calories in here. It's just gonna help me get through labor. Give me what I need. And then I packed another one for if I feel the need to eat one after. Like I said, my water always breaks in the middle of the night. I usually have very quick labors, very intense labors, and then I have the baby about an hour or so after I get to the hospital. It happens almost every single time. Um, and then I have to wait 
like five, six hours for the hospital cafeteria to reopen. And I'm usually just sitting there thinking about how unbelievably hungry I am, how I'm starving, and the nurses are like just trying to bring me anything that they have on the floor to make me feel better or give me something to eat. So I've learned this time, I'm putting Cliff Bars in here. The only thing I have left are just basic toiletries. Um, I have a bunch of travel size stuff left over from when my husband unexpectedly got stuck on a job on the road over the summer. So we had some of these that he picked up for himself uh, while he kind of randomly got stuck out on the road. So shampoo, conditioner, body wash, just whatever he had left over, I just grabbed out of the closet and threw in here. Did throw a razor in here, not that I think I'm gonna want it, but maybe, I don't know, a hair tie just in case. And then a toothbrush and some toothpaste. That's literally absolutely everything that's in here. The only thing I'm going to need to grab on the way out are things like my phone charger, my phone. I have some prescription meds that I take on the daily basis. I'm gonna need to grab those, throw those in here. But it's really very simple. And just like that, that is absolutely everything I have in my hospital bag for baby number four. Like I said, the only thing missing are those couple things, my phone charger, stuff like that. My husband will throw an extra outfit in here probably when my water breaks because that's how it goes unless I throw it in there for him, which I'll probably end up doing after I repack this bag. After I have baby, my plan to announce, because I have been getting some questions on how I plan on doing that, I will most likely just end up posting a picture on my community tab, but I don't plan on announcing that I had the baby until after I'm already released from the hospital and I'm back home. That being said, I will probably just post a picture when we're back home, comfortable. I've had a couple days to just like take it in and absorb and everything is much more relaxed. So stay tuned, I guess, watch on that. I will probably also just take the same photo, post it over um, on Instagram and let you guys know there as well. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram, go ahead. I will have the link down below in the description box. You can go ahead and follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me, taking some time out of your day to watch one of my videos, especially if um, you're not pregnant and you're not packing a hospital bag and you're just curious and watching because you want to watch. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys. I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want.